हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट वेरेबल्स एंड कॉन्स्टेंट इन गो लैंग्वेज एज वी नो दैट वेरेबल्स आर द मेमोरी लोकेशन नेम ऑफ द मेमोरी लोकेशन दैट होल्ड द वैल्यू एट रन टाइम सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए वेरेबल्स एंड कॉन्स्टेंट आल्सो इन गो लैंग्वेज फॉर दैट आई एम जस्ट क्रिएटिंग ए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द पैकेज आई से मेन पैकेज then i am importing the fmt package library here i am creating a function main and remember to start the main function from the curly bracket if i put this curly bracket at the down it will generate error so remember that we have to put the curly bracket at this top now we are using the fmt dot print statement println to display the value of the variable so i am creating a variable by using a var keyword i say num1 you see this is the way to create a variable means by using var keyword we can create the variable num1 and here i can print the num1 also like this i save it and i run it you see we can also define the same variable by using different syntax like this num2 int here i type int int means int 16 int 8 by default int is 32 bit and then 64 what kind of integer value you want i if i want 64 bit i can select here like this and then i can put the value of integer like this and now we can print the value of this also and how we can print just print and i say num2 you see so i run it and it will run without any problem so in this go language we have a int variable i can put here int also like this if i create one more variable i say num3 and i say int equal to this so i can put int also no problem at all and here i just write this three variable so we have a int variable we have a int 64 we have a int 32 then 16 then 8 so as per the size of the value you can take the integer and without giving any information so if you have a long value it will convert according to the value you are passing now if you don't want to create integer variable then you can take float variable also like this i say num4 or i can say f num1 and i say 10.45 like this so i can print it like this also you see i am not mentioning any data type so it is also working but if i want to mention data type i can here write float and this float is 32 bit or 64 bit whatever you want you can take it will work like this as per the range or the value you are assigning so in this go language we do not have the long and double we have a float 64 float 32 int 64 int 32 we do not have a long and double value now if you want to create a string variable just like where name string and you can pass here name like this my name dr vipin kumar and we can display this value also and here just i copy paste and i can type type name also like this save it and run it you see the name is also going printing here and one more thing to create a variable if i do not want to use the var keyword then i can also use the i can create variable like i say the first name then we have to use semicolon equal to and then directly i can pass the value like this dr weapon so this we have to give little bit separation like this so we have this first name variable with this symbol we can without using a var keyword we can declare any variable and because of the value it will also identify the data type so i say first name you see i save it and run it 
no problem at all if you want to create a boolean type of variable you can also take like this i say check then check then equal to then true like this and then i can print the value of this check like this and i run it if you want to false if you want to print false just not check and it will return the false value like this and if i put here where then remove this symbol and it will work no problem at all so any way you can declare your variables but if you want to declare constant variable so we can take like this const and i take like pi equal to 3.14 this value and i want to print this and i say pi like this save it and run it you see with the help of const keyword we can declare variable and if i try to change the value of this pi it may generate error because this is constant you see cannot assign value to pi declare constant so we cannot change the value of the constant variable so with the help of const keyword we can declare constant variable with the help of where keyword we can declare variable in go language if we want to mention here data type so we can mention if you don't want to mention leave it is optional and we have a int data type we have a int 32 we have a int 16 int 64 32 int 8 then float we have 64 and 32 then we have a string then we have a boolean variable we can pass here check and we have a shortcut also to create the variables without using var keyword so that's things you can do in this go language for declaring a variable that's all in this video thank you for watching my video